Why do we like making videos? It's maybe this insane art that helps our mind dream. Dream about something we are not. Dream about a life we can live. Since we only live one life, why not live many through our imagination? or this portal where we can just drink. Hello, my name is Jamini and in this channel I want to help in all the starting challenge you might face to become a filmmaker. And before starting, I want to say there is not only way to become a filmmaker, there is multiple ways. And you can choose the way that is the best for you. And to be a complete filmmaker, you need to know those important four pillars. They are like a chair without one of the legs in my fall. So the pillars are editing videos, shooting videos, planning your videos, and the fourth and most important one I'm gonna only share with you by the end of this video, so stick with me. When you're starting on this journey, I want to let you know that you don't need to fall in love with the four pillars all the same time. Maybe you're gonna be like me, I fell in love with editing and then storytelling, and that kind of pushed me to learn more about cameras. Even here at YouTube, when I was searching people's stories, most of them started by grabbing a camera and recording videos, but it's not always like that. You don't need to fall in love with a camera first. You can fall in love with any part of the process, and you can also become a filmmaker. Okay, so now you know the micro pillars of becoming a filmmaker and I want to go on tiny aspects of each one of them and if you are in the middle of the way, if you're not a beginner, not a pro and you're in the middle, this video can be very helpful and also if one of those aspects is something that you really want to improve, drop down some comments below and I can make a tutorial video for you, okay? Okay, so number one, shooting videos. If you want to start your filmmaking journey by shooting videos, that's the things you gotta learn. So one, start by the basics. Start to learn the baby steps of a camera. That is basically learning what is a shutter, what is aperture, and what is ISO. That's the important three elements of exposure. Second, study everything about light. And learning about light is so important because you can make a video look cinematic even with very cheap gear if you know and understand how the light might affect a video. Third, Pay attention on the audio in your video. The video is made 50% of the good image and 50% of a good audio. So watch videos about the right microphone, how to do sound designing on your videos, and also how to choose the proper music. And last, choose the camera that best fits your budget. I recommend you to choose the camera that fits your budget so you can have it faster and you can start learning by doing because what you most need right now is doing videos, not doing the best looking videos, but doing any kind of videos. Now let's go for the second pillar, editing videos. Editing videos to become a full complete filmmaker is so important because it's exactly when you're editing your own videos that you are reviewing your footage and you're learning how to shoot better. When I'm editing for other people, when I'm watching their material is where I learn also how to shoot better videos because I see how they do, I see when they start recording, when they stop, and I see all the bad things that usually doesn't go to the final video but helps you a lot to learn how other people shoot, you can learn how you're shooting your videos and you can improve and get better and better. And it's also by editing your videos that you learn how to be a better storyteller because then you learn how to cut the story on your head. You're gonna start to notice like, oh, I don't need to shoot as much here in the beginning or in the end. For example, while doing wedding videos, I realized that I don't need to take as much takes on the making of the bride because I wasn't using that much. I was using between three to four takes, so there were no reason for me to keep recording like 40 takes or even more because that would give me more work and not as much material. Another thing that I learned by editing my footage was that I needed to get like a monopod and also a tripod for the wedding ceremony. In the first weddings, yes, I challenged myself to just do camera handheld and shoot the whole ceremony but it was awful because sometimes I need more pieces and more stable image and it was when I was moving around too much so I started to plan all my setups and how to record better videos after editing my own footage. Okay so now that I insist a lot for you to learn how to edit videos I want to say that the first baby step is choosing what software do you want to edit on and that also relates to the budget that you have. Maybe depending 
you on how much you want to invest is relatable to what software you're going to choose. I personally use Premiere because it's very used in the industry and also because I want to work as a video editor, a professional video editor. So I want to have my editing skills very sharp with whatever is going on in the industry. But there's a new movement going and moving to the Vince Resolve. So literally just choose what you like the most and whatever fits your investment. And another thing you might have to invest is a computer if you don't have a very good one yet. But besides that, when you have your computer, when you have your software, the only things you gotta focus on is how to import your footage, how to cut your footage, how to organize your story in a way that looks concise, how to edit your music, voiceover, whatever you're gonna use as your audio, how to color your videos, and how to export. As I said before, you can start from any of those pillars you want. And if you already have a good computer, you can maybe start by editing videos before you have your camera. That's a great idea. You can also start a business with video editing. And the third pillar is scripting videos. That was supposed to be the first thing, but I know sometimes we just wanna have fun, grab a camera and start editing and make things happen. Imagine you hire an architect and he comes to your house and starts breaking the walls and doing all the kind of things, moving your furniture around, but you have no idea what he's planning to do and he's just freestyling on your living room. You're gonna be so pissed, right? And imagine he's a beginner just like you. He doesn't know much what he's doing, but he just come and start to do, right? So that's why it's very important to learn how to plan your videos and start doing it as soon as you can, because you can have more concise videos, more concise ideas. And that doesn't need to be just words and boring type of scripts. You can do whatever you want. You can draw, you can put a mood board on, you can even connect pictures that you find on Google image. It's not supposed to be complicated at all. It's just a way that you can put your ideas on a piece of paper and you can share with other people people, let's say a first client or people that you're gonna work with so everybody can have this concise idea. So now think the same architect coming to your house, showing the paper what he's planning to do and then you're gonna understand what he's planning to break a wall or maybe move your furniture without being nonsense and just freestyling. And if you wanna know a little bit about how I storyboard my videos or how do I plan my videos, I ask you to please drop a comment below I would love to share with you. Now you stay here until the end of the video and I'm very happy for that i'm gonna share the fourth pillar and as i told you that's like a chair without one of those pillars you might fall and after doing investments on software cameras computer a lot of things you probably realize that being a filmmaker is very expensive and you definitely want to make some money out of it to compensate on your investment right so the fourth pillar is marketing a lot of people think that just having the cameras and the tools is gonna make you a complete filmmaker and you're gonna go out and do a lot of things but if you don't know how to market your stuff you're just gonna be stuck doing videos at home but if you want to make some money out of filmmaking i believe those are the things you gotta learn one sharing your videos number two learning how to communicate properly with your clients three learning how to sell four learn how to establish your price and turn yourself into a brand so i hope you like this video on how to become a filmmaker and if you want to learn the baby steps into video editing i recommend you to watch this video also drop down in the comments some of the other things you want to learn and i would love to make a tutorial video for you thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one